Hello everyone, it's time for literacy. I don't know if you can see these, but we're just going to go over these tricky common words. Next week, we've only got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then there's an in-service on Thursday, so I'll have to do some teacher work with some other colleagues. So I'm not going to introduce any new words next week, but I'm going to do a wee dolly mixture of the, the words we've done up till now. So let's go start at the bottom. Like. I like chocolate. Old. I am getting old. Down. I like to play down the road. Thigh. The Gruffalo was written by Julia Donaldson. Have. Have you got the time? It's quarter to nine. Only, I only have one cake left. A lot of my sentences have got to do with cakes and chocolate, hasn't it? Ready for a tea break? When, when is your birthday? And then we've got give, one, number one, little, what, and live. Right, good. Well, that'll take us swiftly on to today's new words. In fact, I'll give you two today. We've got this one says, can you see it? After. After. What are you doing after school today? Okay, after. And the last one. Of. The wizard of Oz is a really good film. Okay, of. So these words will be on your look, see, cover right, check sheet. After, love, every, also, always, and of. Okay, well, let's sing our alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now you know your A, B, C. I can hear you sing with me. Yesterday we were writing the capital R, or the R, it's the sound. So today it's capital S, or the sound is S. And we have got two friends from our class. So we've got Sophie, hi Sophie, and Stephanie. Hi Stephanie. So two friends today to write in our story. Good. Right then, let's have a look. Well, I've already said Stephanie, Sophie. How many syllables in Stephanie? Stephanie. Three. How many in Sophie? Two syllables. And then lot, there's lots of girls and boys' names, but I've got Simon and Stephen. We've got a Stephen in our school, haven't we? Countries, oh, look, Scotland, that's our country. Sweden, it's not too far away from us. And a place in Scotland, Stirling. I don't know if you've ever been to Stirling, it's lovely, it's got a nice little town but it's got a very, very famous historic castle. And if you've not been, it's really worth a visit. It's one of my favourite places to go when I've got um, lots of visitors from abroad. I take them to Stirling Castle. They used to take the girls when they were little. Lots to do and see at Stirling. And another place not too far on the other side of the camp seas is Strathblane. Strathblane. So, I'm sure you'll find lots and lots of countries, places, and names beginning with capital S. And as we know, it's a proper noun. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. And if it's the name, you, it gets a capital. All right, let's warm up our hands. Clouds in the sky. And then from the clouds come the raindrops. And then sunshine. That's it, good. Warm up those hands and when we have clouds and rain and sunshine, what does it get? Ein Regenbogen, Regenbogen, a rainbow. 
a rainbow. And we've been learning that Regenbogen means rainbow in German. Right, well, easy peasy lemon squeezy, my friends, today, because capital S just looks like littles, but it's just double the size. That's how we know the difference, <coughs> double the size. So it's curl this way, curl that way, and then little sit is half the size. Curl this way and that way. Capital S, curl this way and that way. Little s, half the size. Curl this way, then that way. It's a bit like a snake, isn't it? A slithering snake. This way and that way. Oops, it is easy. This way and that way. One more. The capital S is twice the size of little s. There you go. Have a go. Practice makes perfect, as we see. Let's look at our sentence. Got the opener yesterday. Sophie and Stephanie. Oh, how exciting. Sophie and Stephanie are off to have a wee trip together. Went to Stirling. There's our connective because big elephants can always understand small elephants. So it's extending our sentence. Why did they go to Stirling? Because they wanted to visit the castle. And I've got a full stop there. Okay, so I won't do it all today. I'll just do bits of it. So capital S for Sophie. S. Then an O. P is a descender. So it's top to bottom. Reverse up and around. The H top to bottom. Reverse halfway up over the bridge down. E and an A. Finger space between your words and finger space between your words. Stephanie, capital S. T is the same height. E. Now this is interesting. P and H together give you the sound. We'll maybe do a wee bit more about that next week since we're not going to be um, introducing new common words. Pit and he says in some words. Also elephant as well. So it's a pit top to bottom, descend down, reverse back and round. Then he top to bottom, reverse halfway. Then an ah. Then a n. Mm, then an eh. And then an a. Eh. So Sophie and Stephanie went to Sterling. We'll do Sterling capital S. T is the same size and an I, top to bottom, up and over, sterl, and I, and get, we've learned this already in class, it gives you the ing sound, ing, I, mm, get. Right, I'll let you get on with that yourself. So have a go if you want to, friends, and you have a go, jotter, or if you've got no more space on a little bit of paper, and, um, let me see how you got on and I'll see you next week for some more literacy. Bye!